Today, we're delving into the beauty and marvels of Belize, a hidden gem in Central America that is eagerly waiting to be discovered. In this comprehensive travel guide to Belize, I'll provide valuable travel information to help you plan your trip, including top destinations to visit and must-do activities. Plus, at the end of the video, I will be sharing with you my top secret travel tip. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for you to be updated on our new videos. Let's begin! When traveling to Belize, it's important to ensure that you have a valid passport with at least 6 months of remaining validity. Additionally, check the visa requirements based on your nationality. The official language is English and the local currency is the Belizean dollar, although US dollars are widely accepted. The current exchange rate is 2 Belizean dollars to 1 US dollar. Given Belize's tropical climate, it's advisable to pack lightweight and breathable clothing along with sun protection. It's also recommended to drink bottled water and take precautions against mosquito bites. The best time to visit Belize is during the dry season, which spans from late November to April. This period offers pleasant temperatures ranging from 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, lower humidity, and minimal rainfall, making it ideal for outdoor activities. However, note that the dry season coincides with peak tourist season, so expect vibrant festivals, bustling markets, and a lively atmosphere. If you prefer a quiet experience and don't mind occasional rain showers, the shoulder seasons of May to June and September to October can also be favorable options to consider. A typical trip usually lasts around 7 to 10 days, allowing enough time to visit popular destinations such as the coastal islands and the inland areas of San Ignacio. However, if you desire more extensive exploration, consider extending your trip to 2 weeks or even longer. There are several ways to reach Belize. The most common method is by flying into the Philip SW Gold Sun International Airport, located just outside of Belize City. If you're in a neighboring country like Mexico or Guatemala, you can also reach Belize by land through various bus services. Cruise ships often include Belize as port of call, enabling travelers to spend a day exploring popular attractions. Additionally, there are ferry services available from neighboring countries like Mexico and Honduras. Once you arrive in Belize, you'll have several transportation options at your disposal. Belize has a well-connected network of domestic airports, making air travel a convenient choice for reaching different regions. Tropic Air and Maya Island Air are two popular airline services. The country also boasts an extensive bus network that connects various towns and cities, offering the most affordable means of travel within the country. Taxis are readily available in most large towns and cities and can be hired for short trips or day tours. Renting a car provides the flexibility to explore Belize at your own pace, with several international car rental companies having offices in Belize cities and popular tourist destinations. If you're visiting the coastal islands like Ambergris Key or Key Coker, water taxis serve as a convenient mode of transportation operating regular schedules between the mainland and the islands at reasonable prices. Now, let's explore the top destinations to visit in Belize. From Belize City, we suggest that first-time visitors focus on three specific places, the coastal islands of Ambergris Key and Key Coker, and the island town of San Ignacio in the Cayo District. This itinerary provides a taste of both the tropical Caribbean islands and the lush jungles that house Maya ruins, offering the best of both worlds. Ambergris Key is the largest island in Belize, with its main town, San Pedro, located in the southern part of the island. Most people reach Ambergris via a 90-minute water taxi ride from Belize City or a domestic flight. The island exudes a low-key, laid-back Caribbean vibe and has managed to avoid excessive commercialization. In fact, the primary modes of transportation here are golf carts and bicycles. One of the main attractions of the island is its proximity to the Belize Barrier Reef, the largest reef system in the Northern Hemisphere and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
Diving is a popular activity here and snorkeling at the Hol Chan Marine Reserve and swimming with sharks at Shark Ray Alley are must-do experiences. Don't forget to try water sports like kayaking, parasailing, and jet skiing. While on the islands, be sure to indulge in fresh local seafood like ceviche, lobster, and conch when they're in season. Accommodation options range from budget hostels to international hotel chains and all-inclusive beach resorts. The island is also home to significant expat community as many expats who come to Belize end up settling in Ambergris Cay. Nearby, you'll find a small island of Cay Cocker, a more affordable alternative to Ambergris Cay. With a smaller population and a relaxed, slow-paced vibe, Cay Cocker is worth a visit for a night or even a day trip from San Pedro. You can reach Cay Cocker via a 45-minute water taxi ride from Belize City or a quicker domestic flight. The island is only 5 miles long, making it easy to explore on foot, by bicycle, or by golf cart. Like Ambergris Key, water sports are the main attraction here and you can enjoy the same activities. The most popular spot on the island is called the Splits, named after a channel that divides the island into two. If you are interested in immersing yourself in the rich Maya heritage and exploring the lush jungles, then heading inland to the Cayo district is a must. The main town in this area is San Ignacio, which can be reached from Belize City by domestic flight, the fastest option, a two-hour private taxi, or a three-hour bus ride, the most economical option. Downtown San Ignacio offers a range of accommodations, restaurants, and a Saturday farmer's market. You'll notice that the culture here is more Latino compared to the coastal areas, which have a more Caribbean influence. However, English is widely spoken, making communication easy. The main attraction for most visitors in this area is the ancient Maya ruins. Unlike the popular ruins in neighboring Mexico, all the ruins in Belize can still be climbed on foot. The first site you should visit is Caja Beach, which means Place of the Ticks in Maya. It's a small Maya site just a 10-minute walk from downtown San Ignacio. It offers a peaceful, natural atmosphere and is usually not crowded. Sunantanich is the most popular and iconic Maya site in Belize. It's a 30-minute drive from downtown San Ignacio and includes a ride on a hand-cranked ferry over the Mopan River. Sunantanich, meaning Stone Woman, consists of four groups of buildings with the tallest being El Castillo, standing at 130 feet high. The admission fee for Sunantanich Mayan ruins is approximately 5 US dollars, and it's highly recommended to hire a guide if you want a comprehensive understanding of this expansive site. It's a popular destination for tour groups, so expect occasional crowds. Caracol is the largest Maya temple in Belize, located about a two-hour drive from San Ignacio. It's best to visit with a tour guide or as part of a group to fully experience the site, especially considering its proximity to Mountain Pine Ridge. Caracol was once a significant political center in the Mayan civilization and had a larger population than present-day Belize City. The tallest structure at Caracol stands over 140 feet high, making it the tallest man-made structure in Belize. Mountain Pine Ridge Forest Reserve is a great complement to a visit to Caracol as they are located close to each other. This picturesque area offers opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, swimming, and bird watching. Two popular stops in the area are Rio Frio Cave, a natural cave with a 65-foot arc at the entrance, and Rio on Pools, a nearby river area with numerous small waterfalls and natural pools, perfect for swimming and enjoying natural water slides. Rio Frio Cave is particularly impressive, although its length is only about a mile and a half, making it suitable for those new to caving. While most of the caving experiences in this part of Belize cater to beginners, if you're an experienced caver or seeking a more challenging adventure, I recommend checking with local tour companies to see if they can arrange a more extreme itinerary for you. One such cave is ATM Cave, also known as Acton Tunikil Muknal. This cave was once used for sacrificial purposes and now houses over 1,400 artifacts, including the intact skeleton of a young female known as the Crystal Maiden. 
ATM cave is a wet cave that requires swimming to reach the entrance and wading through chest-high water before exploring the dry part of the cave on foot. Another activity I recommend while in San Ignacio is a visit to Tikal Mayan Ruins. Although located in Guatemala, it's easily accessible as a day trip from San Ignacio since the Guatemala border is nearby. Tikal is the most impressive and largest Mayan structure I've ever seen. It's definitely worth the trip. Instead of just doing it as a day trip, I suggest spending the night in the nearby towns of Flores. Flores is a charming little town situated on a lake. You can start your day early visiting Tikal at sunrise and then head back to Belize afterward. And my top secret travel tip for you that you don't have to forget is to try the authentic Belizean stewed chicken with rice and beans at local eateries, small cafes, and street food stalls throughout Belize. These hidden gems found in towns and villages specialize in traditional Belizean cuisine and offer a genuine taste of the country's flavors. By seeking out these authentic establishments, you'll have the opportunity to taste the true flavors of Belize and experience the local culinary culture. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your best experiences in Belize and even add some information in the comments below. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy travels!